Hey, Bricks, it's Brickly here, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at a LEGO The Lord of the Rings Ideas set. This is the Inn of the Prancing Pony, made by Aeroc Brick. And you can actually support this awesome LEGO Ideas project on the official website, but more on that later, because right now, we're going to take a look at this awesome build. So this actually is an updated version. He had a previous design for this, which I actually covered within my Middle Earth Mock series. But right now, we're finally going to take a look at the updated version. Now, this mock project on LEGO Ideas currently has over 5,000 supporters. So I definitely recommend going in and just go ahead and support that project because that will definitely help out with potentially bringing back LEGO The Lord of the Rings. And I definitely would like to see that. So I'm just really hyped up for this to become a real set. Now this of course is the Prancing Pony from the start of the Lord of the Rings movie within Bree, where Frodo and Sam are supposed to meet up with Gandalf. Now that didn't go exactly as planned, but this was a great scene. I love the fact that every single scene you could see in the movie was portrayed within this Lego Ideas set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the build. So the exterior of the build looks fantastic. I truly think that the design is phenomenal. Of course, we get those nicely detailed rooftops with a lot of different pieces. We get some tiles, some of those smooth slopes, and of course, the, the wood around it. The outside of the buildings is also quite fantastic. I love the design of that. Of course, we also have a couple of those printed wooden pieces around the windows, which also looks phenomenal. And something else amazing is, of course, the technique with uh, those windows bulging out in the sort of round shape. And I definitely think that is a really epic technique to use within the Brie mock. So definitely a big fan of that. Aeroc brick, of course, the, the outside is also designed with a couple of those uh, brown uh, bricks switched up with, of course, the white, which actually adds a nice sort of pattern to the outside wall. As you can see, here's actually uh, the entirety and you can actually fold it out. That's definitely something amazing. As you can see, you can fold it in, you can fold it out to create a sort of modular set, which you can actually put on your shelf, which is definitely something amazing. And of course, you can also have access to the interior, but we're going to take a look at that in a second because you can see some stairs over here with some wood underneath. We get a horse over there with, of course, that fence. And then on top, of course, uh, that little uh, sort of balcony area with the, the stairs. Actually, you can see awesome minifigure right there. And there's also some leaves growing on the sides of the the bottom left building, which is also looking fantastic. I really think it is great that everything is integrated into uh, the build so well we get some stone actually on the bottom and then that actually transcends into some wooden structure over there on the top so i'm definitely a big fan of that of course we get two chimneys on top as well and then in the middle there's also this little addition as you can see the sort of a connection between the two buildings which also looks truly great to me so definitely a big fan of the exterior so let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of the prancing pony first off of course we got barlaman butterbur behind the bar actually with his book he's writing down some names for of course the guests of the prancing pony and behind him you can actually see the logo of the prancing pony so definitely a great design for that and if this were to become an official lego set i would love to see uh, this becoming a sticker that would definitely be something amazing and moving on to the hobbits of course we get the nice scene with the hobbits actually and here's the table we get the nice uh fireplace behind them we get them actually having a couple of beers and such like just like in the movie actually so definitely a great scene portrayed within this set and there's also a little bit of detailing around them actually with of course uh, those wall details and the window that definitely look great and then of course we get Aragorn sitting in the corner in front of the window with his smoking pipe right there his sword is to the right of him and then we get this little table on the wall actually which also quite a nice integration into the wall and now that I actually take a closer look at it that definitely looks great 
but there's actually a candle on top and then Aragorn also is sitting on some awesome floor details. You can see a couple of jumper plates on the floor. That definitely looks great. And then finally for the ground floor, actually, we get Bill Fernie. And this is definitely also a great figure. I think he's a spy from Saruman or something. I actually uh, read a bit about him. And this is just a great location as well. You can see another fireplace with two frogs on top. Actually, that's quite a nice detail. We get some a beer over there in the back. Actually, it's a barrel. And of course, a... Uh, a glass and a, a, the bottle over there underneath the stairs. So on the first floor of the Prancing Pony, we can see a couple of scenes portrayed. First off, on the right of the Prancing Pony, you can actually see two parts of the bedroom. So the first part is actually this green bedroom, as you can see, with the green chair over there next to the bed, actually. And this is just a great location because this is actually uh, the scene where Aragorn will sit and, of course, look out of the window and watch out for the Nazgul to arrive. Then we get the green bed, of course, with a hobbit sleeping inside. And then there's this carpet in the middle with the jumper plates. That's really something I'm a big fan of. I love it when builders actually use jumper plates because they add a high level of detail, first of all, but also a lot of smoothness. And of course, the ability to place your minifigures within the area. Of course, if you're going to only use tiles, that's going to prevent you from placing minifigures and that will actually result in them falling over. But when you use jumper plates, that actually prevents that. And that's definitely something really cool to use within mocks. Of course, we get a sort of yellow and a red bed cover right there as you can see and overall we get a closet actually a sort of drawer next to it with a feather on top and i do believe that there's a letter or something like that so definitely a great room that we get this little a middle section which i talked about earlier there's also an interior to this as you can see it's a sort of hallway or something like that also quite nice and you can actually remove this and add two separate wall pieces so you actually have some windows or something like that or you can actually put it in the middle to create this uh, structure in between the two buildings of the inn of the prancing pony so that is also well thought of by Arock brick and then there's this other room to the left of the building we can see two blue beds with of course the covers we get a little table with a uh, a sort of candle on top actually and then of course we get the staircase leading up to the attic of the prancing pony which we're going to take a look at right now so here is actually uh, the staircase on the right as you can see over there in the bottom we get two barrels right there with a, a big box with some carrots inside and of course we get Pippin drinking some ale right there we get the chimney in the middle and then of course on the left we get Frodo Baggins with a map of Middle Earth I believe and there are a couple of maps I would definitely love to see all of these maps become a real Lego piece for a Prancing Pony set and if you haven't yet of course go ahead and support this project on Lego Ideas to make sure that Lego knows that we want the Lego the Lord of the Rings to return as an official Lego theme so go ahead and support this project and let's go and take a look at the rest of the attic of course we get this little s a section over here on the, the, the right which actually has a spider web inside and then to the far right we get a little orc armor or something like that and a couple of other accessories inside there and of course a closer look at the chimney with some of those decorated bricks in dark bluish gray color as well as of course a couple of uh, regular light bluish gray pieces and uh, of course also a couple of those uh, de decorated bricks in light bluish gray so definitely a great design for the overall interior and exterior of course so this was already the entire review of the Lego Ideas in of the Prancing Pony. I definitely see potential in it becoming a real Lego set and I would love to see it. I mean, it's similar to a Lego Castle set. And I mean, Lego Castle is one of those original themes with a high fan base. And I do believe that Lego The Lord of the Rings is really similar to that because we have a lot of castles. We have these type of locations. But I definitely see big potential for this set becoming real. So this set might be one of the best chances at bringing back the Lego The Lord of the Rings as an official theme so i definitely recommend that you go ahead and support this project on lego ideas if you haven't yet and of course if you did enjoy watching this video let me know by leaving a thumbs up to support it go subscribe to brickly for more epic lego content i really hope you enjoyed watching this video 
and I will see you all in the next video on my YouTube channel, Brickly.